and today I'm going to talk about some terminology. And how to identify certain parts on your machine. I know as long as I squeeze and pull and I don't let go. And the first thing we're going to talk about is our tube vise. So this would be your tube vise right here. And it's the portion that holds on to your tube. And there's several different ones. They don't all look the same. You can see they have a screw or some kind of device on them that will loosen this up and tighten it. And you can see if I put a tube in there, you gotta loosen it up to get the tube in. And then if you tighten it up, it will hold on to that tube. Now you want your tube vise to hold on to this nice and tight, like if you were putting somebody in a headlock. I know as long as I squeeze and pull and I don't let go. So that way it doesn't move around on you and change the depth of your needle and stuff while you're working. And the next thing we're going to talk about is our yoke. And the purpose of the yoke is to help your coils out. Your yoke is separate from the machine frame. So the yoke isn't part of the frame, it's just this separate piece of metal here that has two holes in it for the screws to go through. So the yoke is this piece of metal that's separate from the frame and it's to help make your coils stronger. So then the next thing you have are your coils right here and inside your coils are the cores and they're wrapped by wire so the core is on the inside with the wire around it it is a coil so these are like magnets they're electromagnets and what happens is when you turn the electricity on when the electricity goes through the wiring and these coils it pulls down your armature bar so in order to get electricity to your coils you have to have your rear binding post and you also have a front binding post that has a screw on this side to hold your contact screw into place and it has a screw on this side that will hold your binding post. On this machine, here's your rear binding post. Here's your front binding post. You're gonna hook up your clip cord to the rear binding post and then hook it up through this hole in the rear deck to your spring. So then you have your armature bar right here so your armature bar is like a hammer and it has to be attracted to the magnets once the electricity goes through it and 
The armature bar also has a dual purpose of holding on to the tattoo needle at the same time. So that when the coils pull down on the armature bar, the needle will penetrate the skin. So if you look under here, you see we have a capacitor. So if you look at your capacitor, you can maybe see some writing on the side of it and some symbols that look like this. So if you look at your capacitor, you will see some symbols like this on it. And on certain capacitors, you'll have two wires coming out of one end. And if this says positive on this, that means that this wire is your positive wire. If it says negative, that means it's your negative wire. So if you follow your wires, you can find that this can be your negative side, your rear binding post, and this will be your positive side. Or if someone has changed the capacitor around, you could have your positive back here and your negative up here. So the way to tell that is to look at your capacitor and find out which way your wires are going, what wire goes to the rear binding post and what wire goes to the front binding post. Now some people say it doesn't matter which way you hook up your cord, your clip cord, but then some people say you should have positive on positive and negative on negative. So then once you find out if this is positive or negative, then you have to find out what is positive or negative on your clip cord. So here's your clip cord. Alright, so let's say you don't know what side's positive or negative on your clip cord. If you follow your clip cord back to your phone plug here, and you open up your phone plug, typically this short post here is your positive and this long post is your negative. So you find out which one of your wires, you should have two wires, is positive and which one's negative. Which one is hooked up to your short post should be your positive and your long post should be your negative and then when you hook up your tattoo machine once you know if this is positive or negative you would know what side of the clip cord to put inside your rear binding post. This is the machine frame right here. If I took everything off of the machine, the tattoo machine, all I would be left with would be the frame which is important because the material it's made out of will affect how the machine's going to run whether it's solid 
one piece, two piece will affect how the machine runs. So your machine frame is kind of like the frame of your car. It's important because it holds everything in the right place and it affects how the machine runs and how it is built and the geometry of your frame will affect what type of machine you have. So the frame is important because you add everything onto the frame and if it's in the wrong place, if the frame is made incorrectly, then your parts will not go on there correctly or your machine won't run correctly. So there's two terms that I want you guys to be familiar with. One is throw and the other one is hit. The throw of the machine is how far the needle travels. The distance the needle travels. Now the hit is what you test when you put your thumb underneath the armature bar and you feel the pressure it's putting on your thumb. It's exactly what it sounds like the hit. How hard is it hitting 